thank you everybody for coming on such a beautiful day. Hasn't it been great? <laughs> so I'll just start, I'll explain what we're going to be doing this evening and then I'll do a demo for you and I'll show you some of the work. Art, at least for me, is about making marks on a sheet of lovely Strathmore drawing paper with 2B or 5B graphite pencils. Sometimes it's on a newspaper page with some rubbed charcoal. Sometimes it's brush marks on, with oil paints on a nicely stretched canvas or finely drawn lines on a zinc etching plate. Sometimes it's cuts and gouges removed from a piece of linoleum. I can experience art and find the potential for art just about anywhere. I find it on a sidewalk drawn in chalks in a piece of beautiful fabric. How light is reacting to the edge of the water glass. I saw it growing up on the shores of Lake Superior as First, First Nations pictographs. And sometimes I see it ever so briefly written in the sand here in Oceanside. Just recently, I've been discovering art and the potential for it all over again and learning how to make some new kinds of marks on the screen of my new iPad 4. Wherever I'm putting them down, every single mark makes, that I make counts. Sometimes omitting a mark is just as important as making it. Each mark I make moves me from nothing to something. And I still never know when I start out, even after 40 years of art making, exactly how many marks or erasures or layers or smudges it's going to take for me to reach that mysterious there, to get from nowhere to somewhere, and to make something that I want to show somebody else. Before I begin with the iPad, I'd just like to give you a brief outline of what it is that we're going to do tonight over the next hour or so. And then we'll take a look at some of the works and how they all fit together. First, I'd like to show and demonstrate in a rather simplified form, hopefully, uh, <laughs> why it is that this new-to-me piece of technology has become such an incredible resource in my studio in just three months. And my studio is being rede redefined by the iPad, actually. Secondly, I'd like to share some references with you about my own history as an artist. You've been seeing some of that already on the screen when I started at the age of 22. And show you how that connects with this new and very different approach to how I now am making marks on the iPad. Thirdly, I'd like to show you a little bit how, about how I've been studying some of the masters in art in order to explore the possibilities and the ranges of this new medium. And finally, I'll be showing you some of the most recent works where I'm aiming to capture light and color and reflections in silver and other surfaces. I'll show you a few examples of some recently printed and framed hard copies from the iPad finger paintings, and I'll put them on display so that you can have a closer look at them when we finish. Mm -hmm. 